Ah, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Tahutu, and yes, I am the guy that with his family four years ago sold literally everything he owned, his house, his companies, everything else, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. This morning, got up very early, guys, to film this beautiful sunrise here in Lagos, Portugal, because after four years, still traveling all over the world, today, guys, I'm going to make a very short video because yes, some people are complaining about long videos and that is not the only reason because I love to make long videos and again I'm talking too much but also because I have a very, very, very busy day again because when Bitcoin goes to 20k it seems to be that all the journalists and all the media starts to contact me to ask if we are now still living life, bankrupt, billionaire, they want to know everything about us. So that is why yesterday there was also a, a small edit on the te Dutch television in one of the biggest uh, news agencies, RTL. And yes, there was also an article and CNBC will probably do something this week as well. So yes, I want to put Bitcoin out there more and more and more in the traditional media because then we will reach all those people that are not yet in the Discord server of the family or yet googling YouTube for Bitcoin family or even just normal Bitcoin videos. In today's video some really really cool news about Bitcoin adoption, also about uh, huge companies now entering this Bitcoin market, bombing you with really cool Bitcoin charts, also sharing again a really cool Diddy Bam Bam chart, giving you a small introduction to Ethereum 2.0 and why this upgrade is so important for Ethereum, and yes, talking about family because we are family. Yeah, hopefully YouTube doesn't censor that because I sang that beautiful and like the real original song of the Sledge Sisters, I think, We Are Family. Good morning guys again and check this amazing view here on this beautiful morning in Lagos where I see this empty beach. The beach is mine today. BAM! can even still see the moon guys so we have the moon over there bitcoin to the moon maybe we'll see 20k next week bam and we have the sun over there so i'm going to start today with one question how is this possible how can i see the sun and the moon on the at the same time let me know in the comments down below if you are like an astrologist or something like this because i'm very interested in the moon, in the sun, in the star signs, and all of that, because I met a guy here in Lagos, he is predicting the Bitcoin prices on astrology. The way the stars are aligned with the moon and the sun, that is the way he predicts the Bitcoin prices. Um, I forgot his website name, um, his name is Ashur, but I don't know the site that he's doing, so I will put a link down below the video when I'm edit editing it. So. Um, give him some credits because I want to see in the future if this still will work man for Bitcoin maybe we will go to an all-time high every time when there is a full moon a full blue moon a full purple moon or a full I don't know what kind of moon for the ones that are asking themselves wow Didi not wearing a t-shirt no in the mornings in Lagos and it's really early now um, yes it is still a poco frio a pequeño frio a little bit cold I don't know how to say it in Portuguese I don't know, but it's a little bit cold. That's why I'm wearing my sweater, but a really cool sweater because you know It's a family sweater. You can even see it on the back. I don't know if you can see it Bam. It's a family sweater a family hoodie of course. Yes, because I can also do it like a hoodie Like this it's not too cold so the hoodie hmm. and I could have been walking in a t-shirt, but today 
Ah, I felt wearing the family hoodie. Welcome to the Bitcoin family hood. Well, I'm wearing this hoodie. Something like this. Let's start with some very positive Bitcoin news, guys. Black Rock Capital. It is the largest asset fund all over the world. It manages about 7.4 trillion US dollar. That is almost as much as the whole gold cap. The CEO just announced that he believes that Bitcoin can evolve to a global asset. Do you know what this means? This guy is the CEO of a company that is managing 7.4 trillion dollar, almost the gold cap, and he is now saying Guys, Bitcoin can be a global asset. Yes, many other billionaires already said this as well. But this guy is the biggest of the biggest of the biggest asset fund. It is the Lionel Messi from football. And he is the guy when it comes to finance and assets. Or Diego Armando Maradona. One of those two. I'm still doubting between which one I... I think I like Maradona more. And now even because he passed away. Um, rest in peace, Diego. Yeah, because he was the biggest of the biggest of the biggest and now this guy is the biggest I think in the finance and he is saying Bitcoin will be a new global asset. Please do understand guys that when BlackRock Capital invests about 10% of their whole assets into Bitcoin that would already triple the Bitcoin market cap. I'm not talking about the whole cryptocurrency market cap, I'm talking about the Bitcoin market cap, which, which is now around 200 billion US dollars. So we can already see the Bitcoin market cap triple, triple. We can already, we can already see the Bitcoin market cap triple. I think it's because of the sun. It's, it's influencing my speaking abilities. I don't know what it is, but it's so beautiful, guys. Check it. Almost empty beach, beautiful sunset. I am going to get up every morning dead and early because I love to film at these times where the beach is wide, where I can walk on like solid beach sand. Beautiful. BlackRock, guys, is not the only institutional investor. Yes, sorry, I'm not starting with charts today. Um, just hang in there. Just keep listening because this is all leading into the charts. It's very important to have this knowledge as well because one part of trading is knowing the news. And if you know and read the news every morning and you understand the positivity or the negativity of the news, then you are better able to trade using the BD, for example, the Bam Bam indicator, because news is also a huge part of the psychology of the traders. I was saying BlackRock is not the only one. Take a look at this chart and see how many of these billionaire trust funds and now jumping onto the Bitcoin wagon, I almost want to say, jumping onto this Bitcoin rocket to the moon. Check this chart. Bam! Yes. All at the left of the chart there in the beginning, you can see Morgan Stanley. You can see Jim Cramer. You can see JP Morgan. You can see PayPal. You can see Druckenmiller. You can see ITI. I don't know even what it is, City. I don't know what it is. Comment down below if you know what CITI is. I don't know them. You can see BlackRock. You can see Kramer again. You can see Guggenheim. You can see BTIG. Yes, and you can even see Bernstein. Most of them, I don't even know because they will probably be huge kick-ass asset management funds that I don't know, but they all announce and they're all investing in Bitcoin. And you can see every time when they invest, or when they announce that they invest, you can see a little bit run in the Bitcoin price because they start to buy up all the Bitcoins around there. And because I've been referring so many times now to this supply crisis we are in, there is not enough Bitcoins for all those billionaires to buy. They are driving up the price and they will keep driving up the price. Also experienced Bitcoin persons like the Winklevoss twins. They are even stated, guys, man, we can even go with 2,500% from here with Bitcoin, which would put Bitcoin on a 500,000 US dollar price per Bitcoin. These guys are in this industry since the beginning. They are the real they are the real OGs, the OGs of the OGs. And they are now saying, man, 2,500% easy with Bitcoin, with all this institutional FOMO that we are seeing. To top all of this, Reuters, Reuters, one of the biggest news agencies out there, it's like controlling all the news. If you read news in an airplane, it's created by Reuters. I know because we once were in that news on Reuters in an airplane when we went all in at that time. 
But these guys, they have never been positive about Bitcoin. Like not ultimate positive, a little bit positive. But now they wrote a headline of an article, US dollar plummets. There is hope for US stimulus package. And in the same headline they stated, Bitcoin created a new all time high. When Reuters starts to announce positive stuff about Bitcoin, you know we are in a bull run because they are the biggest news agency. And if they publish something about Bitcoin, you will see it in the next week everywhere in all the media all over the world. Bitcoin made a new all time high. And that is very positive for the tradings, for the traders as well. Because a lot of people being positive gives them a happy feeling, a good feeling like me in the sun. Like they're happy. <laughs> and then you trade. You want to trade. You want to make profits. And then the market moves up. At, at least that is what I believe. But you want to see the proof. You want to see a chart. Let's look at a chart. Let's start with a four hour chart. This one. Bam! On this four hour chart, guys, you can see a widening bullish wedge. What is this? You can see these dotted lines. They, they, they look like this, uh, how do you say it? This thing that you shout through. A microphone, not a saxophone, not, but that other thing. You know? The one that you took on school and then, Aah! that one, I don't even know how to say it in English. I'm a Dutchie, sorry. But this looks like a widening bullish wedge. And if you look inside this bullish wedge, you can see that we often did a double top. And every time we did a double top, you can see these red lines. Every time we did a double top, after that we went down, bam, and then we went up a little bit higher. Every time, look to the left on the chart see it around the 20th of October, you can see it around the 30th of October, I think you can see it around the 9th of November, and you can see it now again. Are we forming another double top? And will we, after this double top, pull back a little bit to then launch all the way up to 21k? And why 21k? Because 21k would be the Fibonacci expansion. I need, I need to see it Italian because 21k will be the Fibonacci extension of 1.0. So 21k is around the Fibonacci level of 1.0 if you draw it on the charts. So that's why this chart is stating we could go to a 20k, 21k Bitcoin price very soon. I, I'm going to turn around. Hopefully the sun is now not bothering too much if I walk that way. But that was the only chart I wanted to share with you today about the short term because in the long term you already know what I believe. J just take a look at this chart. This is the 2017 bull run. Just to give you the zoom out picture one more time because I want you to understand that these crashes always happen in bull runs, during a bull run. So one more time, this chart, bam. On this chart, guys, you can see the 2017 bull run from 2015 to 2017 top. You can see this run of 200%, correction of 30 to 40%. Again, these runs, correction, run, correction, run, correction. And at the end, we end up in the top. So at the moment, we can see this correction. Don't get afraid. Don't fear. Don't freak out. Zoom out. And just have this chart in your mind when you dollar cost average into Bitcoin. Because if we are going to repeat history, like you've seen in the video yesterday and the video before, I showed you what will happen if we would repeat history. We are forming a third green candle in 2021 and the third green candle in history has been proven to be the biggest candle out there. That is the one that accelerates Bitcoin, bam, into the moon. So yes, zoom out, don't freak out. Let's see guys how the DD BAM BAM indicator did with this chart. BAM! We started to trade with $200, 1% of the Bitcoin price. I know we didn't reach 20k fully, $200 to make it a round number. The first trade we could do was a short. The short was 14%. So $200 turned into $227. Then we took that $227 to do the second trade. The second trade was a long, a long of around 22% which brought us to 278 US dollar. Then we got a crash. And yes, the DD BAM BAM indicator told us very early that we could see a short, a crash. Now, of course, DD BAM BAM didn't know that we were going to crash, but it told us, guys, be aware, there is going to be a short. And this short 
was a 68% short. So 278 US dollar would have turned into 468 US dollar. And after such a deep correction in the short, yes, of course, the bam bam indicator is calling along. And that is the most easy long you can take because when this short happens, you know the market somewhere needs to turn around. We can't crash to zero. We are not going to crash to zero while all these institutional investors are investing into this market daily, massively. They are creating a supply crisis. Yes, Didi has a lot of energy. I think that's because I'm between the sun and the moon. That is giving me a special energy this morning for you guys. So we took that long, the fourth trade, that was a 36% long. That long brought us all the way up to 636 US dollar. That's a lot of money, 600 US dollar. That's almost a salary in some countries of the world. But no, 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 that was not all, because then we did another short, and it was a short of 21%, and this short brought a total to 774 US dollar. This is a 570 US dollar gain in 20 hours of trading. This is a gain of 280%. These volatile days are very scary, but these days are the best days to trade. Because you know we won't only go down, we will also go up, up and down, up and down. Like gravity says, what goes up must come down. And I say what comes down also must go up again. <laughs> Guys, yes, I know that you cannot trade all these trades. You're not awake in all these time zones. But it does remind me to 2017, guys, during the bull run, I didn't get much sleep. I didn't sleep at all. Ask my wife, I looked like a zombie. Why? Because I set all the alarms, the Chinese alarms, the opening of Asia, the opening of uh, Europe, the opening of America. I traded all these times. And yes, I slept like four hours, sometimes five hours a day. Because every night I woke up, 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 up trade again. And every, every time again I woke up, I was addicted to trading in 2017. I couldn't leave the screen. I was only attached to Bitcoin prices. And I was trading day in, day out. Uh, the Bitcoin bull run, the alt runs, all of those, I was trading them in 2017. I was really addicted. After like two, three months, my wife told me, God damn, Diddy. You look like a zombie. You gained 15 kilo. Go outside. Go do something else. Go do some sports. <laughs> yes, it, it was a crazy time. We were living on a campsite. I was just hooked to Bitcoin. And now I know these cycles. And now I know how they move. And now I have finally the DD Bam Bam indicator. It helps me with this trading. So I don't need to be stuck to the screen 24-7. I trade the four hour chart or the one hour chart. And sometimes when I'm in it, I even take a 15 minute trade, guys. Yes, I don't take them all. Even if I take one trade a day of 20%, I'm a very happy man. Because if you trade with $200 and you take 20%, you, you just earned $40 that day. If you do that 30 days in the month, you have $1,200. And if you trade a little bit bigger like me, yes, I'm admitting now, I'm not always trading with 1%. Mostly I trade within a round number of thousand US dollar per trade. Yes, I'm a risk taker. Why else would I have gone all in? But if I trade with 1000 US dollar and take 20%, I earn $200 that day. And if you do that 30 days, that's 6K a month by just doing what the DD Bam Bam indicator tells me. And I know that is not as easy as I'm telling guys, because you know, our mind is always talking to us. Even when the Didi Bam Bam indicator says, ah, we should go long. Yes, the blue line is crossing the red line. Yes, the blue line is crossing the white line. Our mind starts to play games with us. It starts to tell us, are you sure? Maybe we will go down a little bit more. Maybe we can buy a little bit cheaper. Ah, maybe it will be a fake out. It's the mind that fools us. In trading, you just don't think too much and you just follow the indicators. If, if you can handle all the emotions, all these stories, that the devil and the angel in your head are talking to you about. If you can handle these stories and just focus on the indicators and the charts, what, are they, what they are telling you, trading becomes way more easy. But I know that it's not easy to leave those voices in your head quiet because you know, it's the emotions and you, we are emotional human beings and the emotions ruin many of our trades.
that's the honest answer I can only give you. And no Didi, the Didi Bam Bam indicator is not some kind of secret ingredient that will make you a billionaire in a month or in two months or a year. No, it is an indicator that helps you to control these emotions a little bit better and it gives you an indication, that's why it's called an indicator, that the market is going to go up or down. And it is you that needs to push the button. It is you that needs to change life. It is all up to you if you want to become part of this huge Bitcoin family. If I was you, I would give this video already now a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit this notification bell, so you won't miss the next video I will make. I, and yes, I would also go to the Discord server and join our huge Bitcoin family, over 700 Bitcoin family members over there that are all trying to help each other with trading, with life, with humor, with videos, with all that stuff. We are one big, happy Bitcoin family. So, um, yeah, let's jump into the news part. Yes, I know the first part already was a lot of news. <laughs> it was already a lot of talking, but there is a news part. This part, bam! In this news part, only thing I'm going to talk about is Ethereum 2.0. Because you have heard and read a lot about it, or probably now, what is it exactly, and why is Ethereum 2.0 so special? I'm going to not invest too much time because then the video will become too long, but I'm going to tell you very shortly why Ethereum 2.0 is different than the current Ethereum. First thing, Ethereum is changing from proof of work, the same that Bitcoin is using, to proof of stake consensus. Which means Bitcoin proof of work means you have a lot of mining equipment that is mining all over the world. So you use a lot of electricity to validate all the transactions proof of stake, you don't have all the miners, you have validators that validate all the transactions. So it could be cheaper in energy, but on the other hand, I'm more a proof of work guy. Maybe if you search in our channel to proof of work versus proof of stake, you will find some videos where I explain the difference between proof of work and proof of stake and why I like proof of work more than proof of stake. The biggest advantage for Ethereum 2.0 is that from the 30 transactions per seconds that Ethereum blockchain can handle now, we are going to 100,000 transactions per seconds in Ethereum 2.0. So that's a huge difference. That's a huge improvement of the possible uh, transactions per second. And they are going to use short chains for this. I'm just giving you the main differences between Ethereum 2.0 and the current Ethereum blockchain. If you want to know more, please do your own research um, because, it's, because else this video will take ages. And because Ethereum 2.0 requires 16,380 validators, they state that Ethereum 2.0 is more secure than the current blockchains because it's like 16,384, I think it was, validators that are validating all the transactions, which makes it really pretty decentralized and very secure. That was already all the news, guys. Let's jump into the family part. This part, bam! We as a family still doing good. Looking forward to Friday's family episode on Goxtime Media, where you can again see how we as a family live. If you want to see more how we daily live, also sign up to our Instagram because we create stories every day uh, where we share, you know, the, st the, st the small things, the sunrise, the sunset, breakfast, funny things, all on Instagram. So if you want to see more like family, family, day to day to day to day to day stuff, please always also sign up to our Instagram. Uh, we have around 17,200 subscribers at the moment there. Maybe we get even more after this announcement. Yes, if you want to see Jolie eating breakfast, go to the Instagram because we create stories out there. But talking about family, we are not only talking about the five-headed family, we're thinking about talking about this huge kick-ass Bitcoin family that we try to create. Yes, you out there belong to this huge kick-ass Bitcoin family. And also one part of this Bitcoin family is the family token. Yes, we have a family token. And yes, this family token is tradable on Uniswap. So you, so you can exchange it to Bitcoin, Ethereum, DAI, US Dollar Tether, and I think 2,000 other cryptocurrencies on, on Uniswap. And this family token has value. The value started, I think a month ago, at 0.02 dollar cent. The value at the moment is 0.13 dollar cent, so 13 dollar cents. So yes, the value of the token went times five. 
also the market cap of the token went times 40, I think, <laughs> or something like this. We started with 2K market cap. At the moment, there is an 80,000 US dollar market cap. So yes, there, the community is growing as well. That is what creates the stability of the family token. The more there is in this market cap, the more stable this currency will become probably. And hopefully, hopefully, of course, it will go like higher than 30 cents, maybe even to $1 once. That would be awesome for all the people that are providing liquidity at the moment and helping us to build out this whole family brand and the family token because we pay rewards to all those people that provide liquidity. And in December again, we will have a reward pot of 40,000 family. And we are going to divide that reward pot to the people in December that provide a combined liquidity with a minimum of 300 US dollar in Ethereum and family. And you need to hodl that combined liquidity of 300 US dollar in Ethereum and family from the 7th of December till the end of December. And if you hodl that amount of liquidity in your wallet for a month, you get a fair share of the 40,000 family reward pot, which at the moment is around 5,000 US dollar. So yes, in December, this beautiful holiday season month, we are giving away 5,000 US dollar in family if you provide liquidity. If you want to know more about this, go to the Discord channel. There is a separate channel about how to provide liquidity and we are there to help you, of course, if you want to provide liquidity. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy this video, please give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and family, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. Please educate me. And if you want me to talk about certain subjects in these videos, down below in the comments, tell me what you want me to investigate or to talk about because I love to share my vision about the thing that you want to know. I'm going to wish you an amazing day and I'm gonna remind you always, guys, to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life is about. I am going to zoom out, walk a little bit more on the beach and enjoy this beautiful sunrise and it's getting warm again. So I need to change my clothes into a shorts and a sh shirt again. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye.